we want to solve the given equation. Notice how we have a rational exponent here. For the first step, we will clear the denominator of the rational exponent by raising both sides of the equation to the power of the denominator. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So for the first step, we will raise both sides of the equation to the seventh power. And now simplifying on the left, we multiply the exponents. If it's helpful, we can write seven as a fraction with a denominator of one. Before multiplying, notice how we have a common factor of seven between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to one. So this simplifies to one here and here. And now multiplying the exponents, we just have three times one or three, giving us the quantity x plus seven cubed equals eight raised to the seventh. And now to solve for x, we need to undo the exponent of three by either taking the cube root of both sides of the equation or raising both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power. Let's use rational exponents and raise both sides of the equation to the one-third power. Before we do this though, I do want to make a point. If this exponent here was even, we would have two solutions, and to get both solutions, we would have to include a plus or minus on the right. In this case, because the exponent is odd, we will only have one solution, and therefore we don't include a plus or minus. So again, to undo the cubing, we will now raise both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of three, which is one-third. On the left, we multiply the exponents. Three times one-third is three-thirds, or one. The left side simplifies to the quantity x plus seven. Equals on the right, we have eight raised to the power of seven times one-third, or seven-thirds. And now let's simplify eight raised to the power of seven-thirds. We'll convert to radical form. Because the denominator is three, we have the cube root. The radicand is eight. And because this simplifies perfectly, we will write the exponent of seven outside the cube root like this. We could also put it under the cube root, but again, because this simplifies perfectly, this will be much easier. The cube root of eight is two, and therefore this simplifies to two to the seventh, which is equal to 128. So now we know our equation is x plus seven equals 128. For the last step to solve for x, we subtract seven on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have x equals 121. This is the solution to the given equation. Let's verify this on the calculator. We substitute 121 for x, which gives us the quantity 121 plus seven raised to the power of three sevenths. And notice this does equal eight, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.